Hello guys, it is Halo Boy here, back today with another video. Today we are going to be reviewing Rampart. So before we get into this, I am going to show you some information. So here it is. So here it is guys, I think you should read it because frankly I think it is very interesting. But anyway, on to the review. So now... Before we get into the actual review, Dad, any notes about this figure? Uh, a quick summary. 1990 Rampart. Um, I liked Rampart. Just for you guys in the States, if you don't realise, in the UK we got all the figures about two years after you got them. So this came out here probably 92-ish. I'd have been 10 when I got this probably. And that was around about the time where they still had these realistic looking army figures from the early days, but they were just moving into the time in the 90s where it became all ninjas and neon. So I like the realistic stuff. I like this guy. And it came out just after the time I'd got Dodger, which is like a rip off of the Colonial Marines, you know, from Aliens, my favourite film. And Repeater, he wasn't in the same sort of series as them, but he had the rip off smart gun from Colonial Marines as well, basically from Aliens. So I like those two together. And even though this guy was a bit later and not in the same sort of series, I always put them together. I like his headset. I like his goggles and I like his hat covering up. It looks a little bit snipery to me because of the fact he's got almost a ghillie look about him. But I used him as a machine gunner as well, which is why I think you're gonna say this is your second version of him because the other one had uh, issues with his thumbs. Oh yes, I had a version of this dude from when I was very, very young, and um, he lost all his right fingers, <laughs> so he decided, I'm going to be a left-hand person, and then he lost all his left fingers, so we got this one, and then his cap broke, so we can just take the other one's head off and put it on him. Yeah, I think we broke his thumbs because I bought him about the same time years ago that I got Sub-Zero, and I always gave Rampart. Rampart, the Sub-Zero machine gun, I just thought it suited him, but it was too big for his thumbs and they broke. Mm, still there. Anything else you want to say about Rampart? Um, yes, I think it's very cool that um, he, came, he did come with a rocket, as you can see on the review bit. And you can stick one right there. He's also got this thing here, which I don't know what it's for, but... Oh. It's cool because it's all, uh, you can put his hand on it. I can tell you what that's for. Look, Ooh. he had his own, uh, there we go. he had his own sort of machine gun, which I think attached him to that area, if I remember rightly. He's supposed to be a shoreline defender, which is a very specialised specialism, I imagine. He just effectively goes, I'm going to stand here and watch the shoreline, and nobody's going to come and steal my ducks. Because ducks are, I love ducks, they're very important creatures. Sorry, he just thought he saw somebody stealing a swan as well. So yes, yeah, shoreline defender is a very specific job. Um, yeah, I just used him more of as a as a machine gunner, sometimes sniper. I don't know, there's something cool about the headset thing. Get to medical. I don't know. He just got. He just had something cool looking there. Because a lot of the figures, you you wouldn't know this so much. Because a lot of the figures had like a little thing like Dodger did, and you'd connect it in to their ear, and it would come like a real real piece. But they were really easily lost. So I think the reason Rampart's cool is his is built in. Anything else you think about uh, Rampart and your time playing with him? Well, in my last review of Lifeline, that figure I actually use with him, I use him as sort of mercenary dudes. Just because they have some goggles and stuff, they just look like they should be together. Oh yeah, because Lifeline's got, has he got silver goggles or silver glasses yeah. on Lifeline? Yeah. No, he's got silver blister goggles and then he's got black sunglasses. I could be um. wrong, check my review. Um, he's got this cool webbing here, too. To the book. What year was Lifeline? Like, 86? Oh, I think he was... Earlier? Maybe? I, I, I thought he was only, like, 89 or something. Dodger, my favourite. Oh, okay, Dad, yes. With the losable piece. We got the picture, Dad. Yeah. I'll find him. Go on, you keep talking. You okay. use them as mercenaries. Um, you got some carrying pouches here for detail, as you can see. Um... There's nothing too special about this figure, but nothing too bad about him too. And there's also this green bit, which is really stupid, but I love it. I love green. You were right. 86. Ooh, Actually, you were right, Dad. Well done. 
Oh, I was right, it was 86, but uh, you were right about his glasses, is what I mean to say. Black glasses, but then silver, so uh, almost blue. It's dark green. It's dark green glasses. All right, pick on me for being colourblind, but dark glasses, <laughs> not silver, you were right. What colour is this, Dad? What colour is this, Robin? It's Robin coloured. He is smart, man. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing too special about him, but nothing too not special. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click the subscribe button, like the video, share it with friends and turn on notifications for more collabs with my dad also stay tuned for tomorrow because i'm going to see my little doggy rock again yeah and we can make films about him once you get him yes and good. we are going to see him at half nine tomorrow morning so wake up early set an alarm for nine o'clock wake up early and keep watching my youtube channel if you watch all the videos on my youtube channel then the second it turns half nine Turn off YouTube, go back on, and you should see my video uploading. Or or maybe even uploaded. So, yeah. Um, video's probably going to be coming out around 9.45-ish. Flashback for 80s kids. Fly away. Do, 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 well, this story looks like it's going to end, and I thought it would be a never-ending story. <laughs> 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 <laughs>